Okay, this first model uh, shows six classrooms or six, six rooms. I don't remember how many people are flowing in and out of these rooms, but they're basically two exits to this particular floor. Um, and in, in this particular case, what we're looking at is uh, when there are no policies in place for egress um, in these rooms. So basically, then what we're doing is we're just taking half the class, half the occupants, having them go to one exit, having half the occupants go to the other exit. It's probably not quite random enough. It's, it's, it's a little too perfectly balanced uh, in that regards, but uh, nonetheless, it does, the simulation does show um, a, a couple of interesting artifacts. So first of all, um, it, without a policy, uh, you get a lot of congestion in the middle of the room. And so you'll see a lot of these, uh, these trails uh, across uh, various pedestrians in these rooms. Uh, and that of course indicates that there's, there's probably too much congestion in this case, too many people that would be crossing paths, too many people getting, getting, getting uh, through these, uh, these spaces with uh, little in the way of uh, of uh, distancing, let's say. So let me show you a different model. Um, in this case, this model um, shows what happens when you use the closest exit to a given room. So this is setting a policy to say, hey, if your room is closer to one exit, go to that one. If your room is closer to another exit, go to that one. So when you see, um, when you see this happen, uh, you see that uh, because there's less congestion uh, and you've got a specific policy on having people move out, uh, you, got a, you get a lot less of, of uh, collisions uh, in regards to people that are, are making their way through the space. Uh, and that lack of collision, of course, means that uh, you're able to achieve some level of, uh, of distancing and movement through the space. So uh, my proposal to us as a group is to uh, essentially model various spaces, especially critical spaces, because I, I don't think that we'll have, not necessarily have time to, to model everything, although that doesn't mean we won't try. Um, I'm, I'm proposing that you know we get a few students, maybe students that are on the committee, more likely I'd like to try to pay some students uh, hourly to go through this and, and develop the models to uh, to capture um, you know these scenarios uh, based on the different designs of the classrooms that we 